The family of Angelo Quinto held a vigil outside of the Antioch Police Department, marking six months since Angelo's death. Quinto's family and their attorney say that he was murdered by police back in December after they called 911 for help. They say Quinto was in the middle of a mental health crisis. Tonight, family, friends, and city leaders gathered to continue their demands for an investigation into the police department. Ground Force Taylor Bisaki reports. An emotional day for the family of Angelo Quinto. Today marks six months since Angelo's life was taken. It's been six months since his death. Quinto's family and their attorneys say he was murdered by Antioch police back in December after they called 911 for help. They say Quinto was in the middle of a mental health crisis when officers put their knees on his neck. That is not fair, it's not just, and I don't understand what we're here six months later. And all we've got are the things that they made public to other people. On Wednesday, Quinto's family finally laid him to rest, but say they still have no peace or justice. That's why they're here, along with friends and city leaders, on the steps of the Antioch Police Department the very same day. The family's attorney says they'll be filing a lawsuit in the coming weeks. December 23rd, 2020 is a day that will live in infamy in Antioch. It will live in infamy because that is the day that Antioch police officers killed Angelo Quinto by restraining him to death. And that's what happened. We've had an independent coroner we've retained, the family has retained. He's reviewed the case, he's reviewed the evidence. It is clear that this was an asphyxiation case, a restraint asphyxia case. We'll be filing a lawsuit in about two weeks demonstrating that. Mayor Lamar Thorpe joined the crowd on Wednesday and says Quinto's death will continue to make ripples within city government. We've been committed to police reform. We have the body cameras. We have the dash cams. We have it. We are creating an independent oversight committee commission. And we have a temporary one that's being run by Tamisha Torres Walker. <laughs> but says more work still needs to be done. We're also committed to making sure that your police department is accountable to you, not themselves. Yeah. Yeah. To you, yeah. not themselves. Now the Quintos are continuing to call for an investigation into the police department, the city attorney's office, and coroner's office, saying there was a cover-up in Angelo's death. In Antioch, Taylor Bisaki, Cron 4 News.